you may want to study this for a moment. My original problem is this rational expression plus this one equals this one. And since it had fractions, I went ahead and multiplied through by the LCD, which is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So it's this times each term in the equation. And now let me go ahead and divide out common factors. I can divide out these common factors, and notice what I have. I have 4 times x minus 2, and then plus. Now let's see what happens next. These common factors divide out, and I have 2x times x plus 2 is equal to, now if you factor x squared minus 4, it factors as x plus 2 times x minus 2, so this does divide out with those two factors, and I have simply 6. So you may have to study that a moment, but here is a simpler equivalent equation, although my domain may change a little bit. But let's continue. So this is 4x minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2x squared plus 4x is equal to 6. Notice you have a quadratic equation because of this term. So this is 2x squared and then 4x plus 4x, that's plus 8x. And then I have negative 8, and if I subtract 6, I have negative 8 minus 6, that's minus 14, is equal to 0. Now notice, each of these terms has a common factor of 2, so I'm going to take a step and divide through by 2. If you do not see this, you will still be okay when solving. But this will make my number smaller. So this term divided by 2 is x squared. This term divided by 2 is 4x. This term divided by 2 is 7. And this term divided by 2 is still 0. Try and solve by factoring. You cannot factor this using integers, so we go to the quadratic formula. a is 1, b is 4, and c is negative 7. Now you may want to take a step and write down the quadratic formula, but I'm going to go straight to replacing it with replacement values. So x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 7 all over 2 times a, which is 1. And now let's simplify. We have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of, let's see what we have. We have 16, and then notice this is negative 4 times 1 times negative 7. That is a positive 28. What is 28? And 16, 8 and 6 is 14. 2, 3, 4, that is 44 under the radical. So the square root of 44 all over 2 times 1 or 2. Now there are my solutions, but we need to go ahead and simplify. That's negative 4 plus or minus. 44 is 4 times 11. And the 4 will come out of the radical as a 2, and then the square root of 11 all over 2. Now here's where common mistakes are made. Notice I have a common factor of 2 in the denominator, but I have a common factor also in the numerator, yet not yet factored out. So you need to take a step and factor out a common factor of 2 in each term in the numerator. So that's negative 2 plus or minus square root of 11 all over 2. And now you can divide out that common factor. We have now negative 2 plus or minus square root of 11. Notice you have two answers here. Negative 2 plus square root of 11, negative 2 minus square root of 11, 
and you need to take a moment and go back to your original equation. Notice the denominators of your original equation. You had the denominator of x plus 2, which means x cannot be negative 2, but we do not have that as a proposed solution. You also had a denominator of x minus 2, which means the solution cannot be positive 2, or else the denominator is 0, but we don't have that either. So here are your two solutions.